Hey guys, we're all for survival here today, and today we're going to be doing an ultimate 24 hour challenge in the bush. Oh mate, it's going to be epic. I'm Nathaniel. I'm Ryan. I'm Mick. I'm Jed. I'm Daniel. But yeah, the challenge has officially started now. We can't leave the bush. We can't leave the bush for 24 hours. We have to catch our own food, sleep in our own shelters. Here we go, guys. Let's go. Gonna this be gonna be epic. Epic. Let's do this. Let's do this. Bye. We've set some of our lines. Look at my shelter. It's pretty ultimate. But um, yeah, I might keep working a bit more on that later. But at the moment, first priority, I need food. I need Tucker. Hey. So what are you doing there, Ryan? I'm putting worms on. Are you finding some big ones? Uh, not really, but I just... Just makes you pack it in. So yeah, Ryan's setting this hand line. What are you going to try and catch with that? Eel. Eels. Freshwater eel. Yum yum. Yep. Well, I mean, I've actually never had eel before, so... It's pretty nice, actually. Well, it's decent. So I've just set the line past these branches. Couldn't really take the camera with me because I'm just by myself, so... Because I had to trudge through there. But yeah, the line is set. Come on, let's catch some fish. I'm already getting hungry. So guys, what we're doing at the moment is we're getting all of this stuff plus that was on the shelter. We're just pulling it off and putting it in a pile right there. And then we can um, do what we want and like extend. We're gonna make it better. Yeah, because it did look like a pile of garbage, but we'll make it look nice. And um, yeah. I just put you guys into a time lapse. So, we are building the shelter up again. As you can see, we're just gonna put roof on there, walls there. All right, time lapse, here we go. I've got something on guys. My line's super tight. Yeah, I feel it, I feel it, I feel it, I feel it. What is it? Yeah. Oh, no way! It's a big fish! It's a talar! It's stuck on the log. No way, it's a big fish. It's a big fish. What's that? What is that? What is that? Alright, just be careful. What is that? What is that? What in the world is that? It's not a tilapia. Oh my dooly, what is that? What is that? What is that? That's a native fish, don't you? I think that's a native fish. Oh my goodness, guys. What? No way, I saw my line tie. I thought for sure it's an is eel. Is that a bass? No, it's not a bass. That's the thing, it's not a bass. Okay, so guys, Nathaniel just caught this massive so silver perch. identified it as a silver perch. Because we've, we've never seen one before, and um, we've obviously seen YouTubers catch them, but um, we didn't really know we had them here. Silver perch has engulfed my worm, and there we go, guys. No, it's 39. 39, to the tip. I guess 38. I've, um, I've cut its gills to put it out of its misery, um, but oh, it, it, it is a pretty sad thing to do, killing a native fish, but this challenge, you know, we got to eat, and... You know, I've heard they're pretty nice, so, yeah. And we'll just clean it all well, nice and clean. <laughs> and then, when are we gonna fill it up? Fill it oh, up? I'll probably do it now. So, I've got my ultimate filleting knife. Time to fill it this bad boy. Here we go. Just wanna get nice. So I'm trying to get as much meat off this as possible. Because I'm hungry. So we're just getting underneath all the meat, um, just so we don't, we, you know, don't waste that much. Yeah. So back in the day when we first came here, we thought there was not really any fish in this creek system, and we found out there's carp, eels, tilapia, mullet, and now Roger silver perch. Now, silver perch um, skin does feel pretty firm, so hopefully I won't cut through the skin. And uh, what a chunk of a fillet. So what I'm doing is I'm just flouring it up first. Um, and then I've um, got an egg, so you can egg it up. Jeez, 
is a little egg that should be enough. Might need more egg actually. A little chicken egg, we'll see. Might be good. So now we've egged it up. That's actually perfect. Mm. Just used one little chicken egg. Um, now what we wanna do. What are you so doing? So we open, so we brought panko breadcrumbs. This is only used for when we catch fish. So that's the only time we're allowed to use it. So, we'll just pour a little bit into here. If we need more, we can just add more. Just start with one piece and you just wanna get it all nicely on so it's a nice layer of just panko. It's gonna taste so nice. So there's one done. Crispy oh, eggs. So yeah, now we've done that. Now the challenge is I have to try and make a fire, which will be interesting. And all I've got is flint and steel. So uh, here we go, guys. But now we're not. It's because you keep stealing my silver patch. What? It's because you keep stealing my silver patch. We used to be best buddies. So I like to have a bit of a base and then I scrunch up this stuff. And then yeah, should work. But yeah, if you're ever wanting to build a fire with flint, paper bark is a very good option. We got fire, baby. We got fire, you ripper! No, it's we got fire, baby. Doesn't really matter, Jed. It does. No. So yeah, we've got it nicely going. We'll just save the paper bar. Just make sure it's nice and cleared. Um, but yeah, it's going. I might put a couple more sticks on. My job can be to keep up the fire mountain. So, I think it's done now. So, let's just wait for it to cool and get it out. So guys, sorry, bad camera angles. Oh no. Um, but it's still pretty hot. But yeah, here's the other fillet, and um, most of it. So here it is. Oh, but I'm just so excited. I haven't had any breakfast. Oh, heck. No breakfast. It's probably about getting close to lunchtime now. And I finally got it, filleted it up, cooked it, made my own fire. How good. All right, we'll give it a test taster. Here we go. Silver perch, never tried it. Here we go. That's so good. Wow, that's so nice. When you're so hungry, it's the best feeling. Is it pretty epic? It's decent. But um, apparently there's, um, no, I think sort of a bit of a storm on its way. So, flipping Henry.